In this video, I'm going to show you how to download a CTGP Revolution for the Wii to get over 200 new custom tracks, as well as online features. CTGP Revolution is an unofficial mod to Mario Kart Wii made by Mr. Bean and Chatters. You can look more into the creators on the website. So what you need for this tutorial, you'll need an SD card, 1GB or above. You'll need a homebrewed Wii. If you haven't homebrewed your Wii already, there's a playlist in the description and you can see all about that. You also need a physical copy of Mario Kart Wii and a computer to get all the files on the SD card. So getting right into it, if you go into the first link in the description, it'll take you to this page and all you're going to do is click download CTGPR and it should bring you to this mega site, click save and it should download. I've already downloaded it so it happened really quick but otherwise it might take a few minutes as it's almost a gigabyte. So once it's downloaded, click on the file, the WinRAR file and go to your SD card. So on the root of your SD card, just highlight all of these and drag it on and it'll extract. You'll need WinRAR or 7-Zip to do this and it'll take a little bit. Again, it's a gigabyte. But while it's going, you should also know that your SD card needs to be formatted as FAT32. If you don't know how to do that, I'll put a link in, this, in the description for that as well. And once that's all transferred over, you, could, you should see all of these folders in here. If you open up the README text, you can read about it and if you run into any issues there is a list of common problems and solutions so you can check out to see if if that'll help you out but otherwise you don't need the text documents so i'm going to delete them and your sd card should look like this in your apps folder all you need is ctgpr with these three files you should have ctgpr with these files on the root and revolution on the root and boot.elf on the root and before I forget, if you want to read more into the CTGP revolution, you can go to this custom Mario Kart wiki and you can read all sorts of stuff about it, see the tracks, uh, the developers, creators, features, anything you want. So I will also link this in the description as well. But otherwise, you're ready to eject your SD card and I'll meet you over on the Wii. So once you're on your Wii, Make sure that you have your copy of Mario Kart inserted and then go to the homebrew channel. And when you get there, you should see this CTGPR channel. So click and load it. And let us do its thing. And if you were wondering, you can't do this on a USB drive like other mods. It has to be an SD card. So now we're loaded up. Choose your language. Press A to continue. And then you can read all of this. I've installed it on my other Wii already, so I'm good. Just skip all through that. And then accept the terms and conditions. And this one just tells you that if your Wii is connected to the internet, uh, you can install it that way, or the offline version, putting patch files onto the root of SD card. Uh, but I'm connected to the internet, so I'll just install it. And click yes to install. And it might take a while. It has froze on me before, so if it does, just restart your Wii and try again. And hopefully it'll go. So that took about 15 minutes, so it does take a little bit, but now it's done, just press A. And here you have the option to set up the automatic updater, so if you always have your Wii connected to the internet, you might as well click yes, but if not, you won't be able to update it without the internet, but I'm just going to do yes, and you can always change that, as it says right here, so press A, press A. And this one just explains that since the Nintendo WFC servers have been down, CTGP has WIMFI built in so that you can play online through that. And also going through these, you can see uh, different error codes, solutions to problems, uh, just FAQ kind of stuff. So if you do run into issues, you can run through that. But now we are on CTGP Revolution. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add the CTGPR channel. And what this will do is just, as you can see here, it adds a channel onto your home screen. So press A. Press A again. 
and there we go it was successfully installed that took two tries actually so just if it doesn't work the first time try it again and now we have the channel and another thing I suggest doing is go into cup course organizer and switch it to alphabetical just since there's so many tracks it's just nice and organized if it's alph alphabetical so I do suggest changing that so now that all that's done uh, you can click launch game to start playing and I believe you can start playing online anytime now they used to have a one week wait after you start WimFi but I think it's gone if not just uh, launch it anyway but I hope this tutorial helped you and I hope you have fun playing online Mario Kart with all the new custom tracks uh, if it did help you make sure to leave a like I appreciate the support and I hope you have a great day take care